Let's beef up our imagination as we create this cheeseburger mountain using Adobe Firefly, Photoshop's generative fill, and After Effects. Let's dive into it. Okay, starting out, I'm in After Effects. Here's my clip of our subject walking towards a mountain. That's where we'll put our cheeseburger. I'll export this clip as a frame and switching over to firefly.adobe.com and go to text to image. To start off, I'll upload my reference image, that frame that we exported earlier, and we'll set our parameters and we'll write our prompt out. Some nice options, we'll select this one. Now jumping to Photoshop where we have our screenshot, we'll import our generated image. Now resize it, lower the opacity, and line it up with the mountain. Once that's set, we'll raise the opacity back up. And now by using Select and Mask, we'll isolate just the burger and parts of the mountain. Once we have our selection, we'll rasterize the layer and hit Delete to remove the outside parts. Now let's select the edges of the image where the burger layer meets our background layer and I'll make sure to flatten our image so it's just one layer. And now I'm gonna have AI fill in the transitional elements that bring these two images together. I'm gonna hit delete. I'll type in Burger Mountain as our prompt, hit generate. I'll use option three, save this and jump back to After Effects. Now I'm in After Effects and I have my image imported and overlaid in my composition. I'll hide that for now. Now let's use the 3D camera tracker by going to track and stabilize, track camera. And once that's done analyzing, I'll select a part of my mountain and hit create solid and camera. I'll make my burger layer a 3D layer. Now we'll use the pick whip to parent our burger layer with the solid layer. I'll adjust my parameters a bit to line it up with my comp. And once I'm all set, I'll double click my rectangular mask to create a mask around my burger layer and I'll adjust my mask a bit and give it a nice big feather. And there it is, bon appetit. 